Oh god! <laughs> Somebody give me a bucket! <laughs> Thank you so much. Well <laughs> when, 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 did we, when, when did we go see Prometheus? It was a wee sort of new weekend. Yeah, it would have been about two uh, weeks, about two about two weeks, weeks ago. ago, right? Yeah, a week and a half. We yeah. wanted to wait a little bit to do this video because this video is going to have spoilers. If, if you don't want any spoilers for Prometheus, I suggest you just <laughs> cut it right here because uh, I feel the need to lambast this movie. Like, just I'm just going to go up one side of it and down the fucking other, and I think these two gentlemen are going to be with me on this. I, it, it just fails. On so many levels, and it's not just the story. You, also, know? you know, it's it's the execution. Go ahead, Brian Stewart. Oh, it, I keep hearing the same defense for this movie for people who try to defend it, and their defense crumbles rather quickly. Like they put up initial good front, but then they're like, "Yeah, never mind. I'm I'm totally wrong." But the defense they always seem to give is, "It's definitely not an alien movie, but it works as a science fiction film." No, it doesn't. Because even in science fiction, you need to have characters you care about. Well, it's it's science fiction, but it's bad science fiction. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, there's there's nobody in that movie that I really cared about. There were some characters that I thought were intriguing. Like, even the uh, the old Mr. Whalen there, I thought he was intriguing. Yeah. But, like, the means to his end was stupid. Yeah. And the Charlize Theron, besides being eye candy, I mean, her character was fucking stupid. Stupid. She, she died useless. because she didn't follow the same logic that Bugs Bunny follows when he sees a falling tree. You when know, something like, went Looney to death. If she followed the same logic people use for running away from a fucking alligator, she would have survived. <laughs> or, or being chased by <laughs> bees. You know? If something rather narrow is coming for you, you turn on a 90 degree angle on either left or right and continue that way. And then you'll get out of the fucking way and not get crushed by a big <laughs> horseshoe that's rolling for you. Come on! Just imagine in like Raiders of the Lost Ark if he was running away from the ball and if at any point in time he could have just ducked to the side and had it roll past I just it. wanted to see why I came out he's standing at the side with a sign that just said seriously? Question mark. I'm just, I, I can't even think straight. I'm so upset about this. Well, how about this, this? We were all excited because one piece of information that we were so thrilled to hear was that it was going to be rated R. And then we get and, there and it's A. And the only, no, even then, the only reason it would have been rated R is because the F word gets thrown around two or three times. I wanted to see some actual evisceration. I wanted to see some gore. And there certainly wasn't enough there to make it an R-rated film. And now... You know, I, I was looking forward to Ridley Scott really chairing this and doing and, and championing this movie for us, and I, I think he failed. I think not just him, but everybody involved with this failed. Uh, the, I don't think the writing... I, I, I'm not going to fault the actors and the actresses at all. There's something that's changed with this guy. If the script is not good, you're not going to shine. I'm I sorry. Mean, you go back and you watch Blade Runner. And Blade Runner is, despite today's standards, still looks like an amazing science fiction film. The special yeah. effects of that movie still hold true today. The difference between Blade Runner and this movie is that Blade Runner, it took its time. It let us slowly develop and get a sense for the characters in that movie. We get a sense for Harrison Ford's character. We take our time. There are really slowly paced scenes where you get just uh, you get absorbed by the atmosphere. And this, it's moving so quickly, and we don't know what, there's 17 members on this crew. It could have been 30, it could have been 200, it didn't matter, because we're not going to know most of them. They, will, they were all red shirts. Yeah, every yeah one they of them. were all, everybody in this movie was almost fucking The French. only person we remember is David. David and Watani are the only two people. The if even Charlie Theron, who's the captain of the ship, what was her name? Captain. That's just... Oh, no, 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 she wasn't the, she wasn't the captain. Um... She was just... He, he oh, no, because. Idris Elba's character was the captain. Right. But even then, he was... He was the captain. The, him, the pilot, and the navigator. And, what, and, and the captain, who ha he doesn't step one foot off the ship, ever. He's the guy about 66% of the way in the movie that's going to figure all this shit out and say, Oh, by the way, this is what happened. The aliens don't shit in their own uh, neighborhood. They came here to make weapons. They populated our planet. And now they want to destroy us. I'm thinking, how the fuck did you put this together? And actually, the ending of the and movie... <laughs> You know, he's, he, you're a bus driver, that's all you are, and all of a sudden you're going to put all this together, you're surrounded by all these surrounded people that scientists. were hand-picked scientists well, even then, to do this job and figure out what the fuck's going on, and you're going to tell us what's going on? Well, my biggest question... And then, get, and, and then have Charlize Theron say, come fuck me in my chambers, and I'll buy it. I don't buy it! What was he, a herbologist or a geometrist? A geologist. Geologist. He plays this geologist, 
And he's a fucking, you know, he comes out of cryo, and some guy tries to make small talk with him, and he's like, hey, man, I'm not here to make friends, I'm here to make well, money. Like, he's this badass. And then they go into this expedition, and he fucking, he, he finds one fossilized alien carcass sitting there, and he immediately flips out. Oh, this ain't rocks and shit. I gotta get out of here. And then he turns tail and leaves the They've been dead for the like 10,000 years. No, but the part that pissed me off more than anything else is the guy that leaves with him, who's like, yeah, shit, I'm out of here was the biologist. They just found an alien life form and the biologist is like, yeah, I don't want to be here. Yeah, well, what bothered me is that, first of all, we only know those characters as the biologist and the geologist. We don't even remember their names. That's how yeah. important they were. And the second thing bothered me, when the geologist was brought out of cryo, and he was like total badass. I'm just here to make money. I thought this must be some kind of mercenary or some kind <laughs> of total badass. Or maybe they brought like a uh, they brought off some you know marine for protection or some kind of military presence, well, yeah, right? Yeah, like almost like a camel looking. And as soon as I found it as a geologist, I'm like, what the hell is your problem? <laughs> this is one of a, a couple different things I had wrong with this guy. This was the guy that brought the fucking probes that was going to map out this institution, right? It was going to map this big uh, labyrinth that they yeah. were investigating and what happens the guy that's mapping the thing gets fucking lost there was only one way <laughs> he to gets one way lost. Out. it's a tunnel it's a fucking tunnel how do you get lost with a tunnel he, he, he turns around to leave before the rest of the party does and when shit hits the fucking ground that storm's coming oh storm's coming you got to get out of there everybody else turns tail to leave they manage to get to the exit and somehow not only do they not cross paths with the guy that already left but they get out and he's lost! And what happens? They find a life form that looks like an alien snake, like an alien cobra. And what does the guy do? He plays Coochie Coo with well, the this fucking was the guy who was afraid of corpses at the beginning. <laughs> and, and now well, even that, the reason why they went that direction and wound up in that room is because the captain told them that they got a life form reading in the opposite direction. So if you're terrified of finding a life form, if you go into a room and you find a life form, <coughs> oh, excuse me. why aren't you terrified? What it reminded me of? Reminded me of penis. It was like half penis and half vampire from Blade 2. You know, the, the, oh, the, 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 when, the when their mouth opens, opens up, up, the whole fucking flap, their whole face opens up like that. That's, you know, imagine a penis doing that. And that's what these alien snakes were doing. The guy's like, oh, Gucci, Gucci, Maybe he was a gay biologist. Well, you know, it could be. Could be. Yeah. Was there anything that we liked about this movie? It looked good. It was pretty. Yeah. Well, yeah, it was a $150 million movie. I mean, hopefully it looks good. And I was even going to get by the whole... The, 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 the technology of yesterday looked better than the stuff that they had on the Nostromo. Well, I, mean, I was ready for that. That wasn't going to hurt the story for At me. least in this case, I can rationalize it saying this is a science vessel, not some you know derelict frigging mining barge. Yeah. But uh, I like to look at the film. I love the landing sequence where they're first landing on the planet's surface. That looked fantastic. That was one of the best landing sequences I've ever seen. But then again, what's a landing sequence but filler? Yeah. You know. And when they take off, when they get their fucking vehicles and they're taking off for the temple because they, they, they recognize that whatever this is, it's, it's well, not man-made, but it's not natural. They landed somewhere where something was manufactured. Something was there and built something and they were going for it. And the music that's playing while they're all driving towards this thing and I'm like okay yeah 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 this is good this was good and then it just it, it was never bored throughout the whole film and it definitely held my attention all the way through but I kept thinking okay you've hooked me you've drawn me in I, I'm going with you on this trip I'm all excited and I kept waiting for it to go up to that next level of suspense and terror that aliens did and it never gets there yeah. it just keeps you constantly dragging you through yeah. And it never ever elevates, and it just sucks. It like it stays at the, you know, it's like okay, you've built the scale up to a perfect five. Now take me to the ten, and it just sat there at the halfway point for two hours. Yes, yeah. I kept waiting for the payoff, and it never happened. No, never. Like, even the even like the end, you know, like alien coming in, which I had issues with, like the whole space jockey alien. That was. It, we'll get onto that in a moment. The, the only thing I can hope is that there's going to be more to the story. Maybe somebody like Irvin Kirshner or something will take the helm to the sequel and make something that's much more powerful, much more better, and will actually take what we know, the alien that we know, and connect this story but here. Because the end of this yeah. story is no precursor to fucking alien, I'm sorry. Just taking this no. odd-looking, alien-looking thing and just dumping, dumping it into the last frames of this movie does not make it an alien uh, prequel. That's a cop-out. I didn't like it. By the, by the time that happened, most people would be like, oh, it's an alien. I was going, 
the fully Fuck formed off. alien yeah. comes out. So Prometheus, one out of ten. Brian Stewart. That's going to be a, a two or a three. I'd yeah. give it a four because I wasn't bored. You know, it, it hurt my head afterwards. It wasn't a four when I walked out of the theater, but I was waiting to see. Because some films, you don't know what they're like. Sometimes they, they get better over time. Other movies, that you think of them less. And it was a four when I left the theater, but now it's, it's a two. And you, and you know what? We we only scratched the surface of the shit that we oh, didn't yeah. like about this we movie. Could do, we could do a two-hour episode just on the... We could make an episode longer than the movie bitching about bad. the shit in the movie. I'm sorry. It was just... It was, it was that bad. If anybody out there the, it, wants to say we're full of shit, we don't know what we're talking it about... broke my soul. By all means, feedback. Well, I'll debate any one of you fuckers about how this movie it sucked. Missed the chemistry of the first movie. Small crew. People we liked. How do you screw that up? 